Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to give you an update about Implantata and um, about what we are doing. So actually, we are really introducing a new uh, category in glaucoma treatment. I don't think that I have talked too much about glaucoma, but I think um, I want to uh, let you know that uh, there is a pressing problem for a long time. Because today, measurement of intraocular pressure means measurement of therapy effectiveness is only happening in the office. And usually, that's only done a few times a year. But in between office visits, there is no understanding at all you know, how a patient's eye pressure really is uh, under normal life conditions and how effective a, th a therapy really is. And that means that in many cases, uncontrolled, uncontrolled glaucoma is detected way too late. The other problem is there is a lack of patient self-monitoring. Glaucoma is a chronic disease. Patients have to take eye drops on a regular basis, but many patients don't show good adherence at all. And basically, these are the reasons why still so many patients are losing eyesight, despite the wealth of treatment options. So to overcome this problem, we have established the IMED system, which is a tiny, consists of a tiny implantable microsensor, which is placed permanently in a patient's eye. Today, it's done either in combination with cataract surgery or in combination with glaucoma surgery. Uh, that device is powered externally by RFID. For that purpose, we have that handheld device by which the patient is initiating the measurement. In the next step, we are also integrating the RFID electronics right away in eye glasses so that uh, the data can be fully automatically collected uh, without any patient interaction. And so that data goes straight into a web-based database where all the patient data is collected, uh, analyzed, and set, uh, presented to the eye doctor. And with that, the eye doctor can remotely monitor the patients and can also set an alert. So in, in case of an uncontrolled glaucoma, he would know early on, and then he can really focus on that patient. So that's really enabling eye doctors to provide more effective therapy, personalized therapy early on. The other important feature is that we are empowering patients by self-monitoring. Um, that really uh, improves the therapy adherence of the patients. What, uh, that's uh, what you have seen in our clinical studies, that patients by self-monitoring show a way better adherence. Here you can see where the sensor is placed. So right now we are placing the sensor in the supraciliary super space. It's done uh, either up, up internal, but it can also be done uh, up external. And eventually, uh, we also are also envisioning to have the sensor placement done independent from cataract or glaucoma surgery. Let me show you a real patient case here. Um, and so we have done a dashboard where we kind of integrating also structural and functional information on that patient. And here you can see a patient data for a little bit more than two years. And we have collected 10,000 measurements in that time frame. And you can also see how the patient's pressure is fluctuating over time. Uh, so you can see the trend, but you can also see the pressure variability. Um, you can also look into more detail. You can also go into a monthly, quarterly, whatsoever. So the eye doctor has really the choice or the option to do a, a deeper dive in the data to better understand what, what is the daily fluctuation of the patient's pressure. Um, and at that patient, for example, um, there was a pressure increase uh, which um, caused or which um, at the end uh, the eye doctor decided, okay, now we have to do surgery to get the pressure lowered, and that was successful. Here's another case where um, a pressure flow was implanted uh, to lower the eye pressure. But as I said, the fascinating thing that, uh, is that we have thousands and ten thousands of data points which are enabling the eye doctor to really have a, a more, make a more solid information um, or more solid um, decision on which a therapy has to be applied to, to really get the pressure under control. So at the end, we are complementing what's done today. We are complementing in-office diagnostic, so we are not here to replace in-office diagnostic. We are providing data in between office visits. And we are also complementing any therapy. So it's really helping to apply the most effective therapy, most effective drug to the patient right away. Uh, it's also complementing any laser or surgical procedure to lower eye pressure, because you all know all these uh, procedures have um, a limited effectiveness. And also when it comes to drug delivery system, um, it's important to closely control if they are still effective or if you have to, if you have to do a revision. We are introducing remote monitoring, so we help to make management of the patients more, effic uh, more efficient. And as I said, we are empowering patients. I think um, 
the patient generation, baby boomers, uh, they are all socialized with uh, smartphones and, and health apps. So I think uh, we also see that uh, everyone or this younger generation of patients is very eager to be involved and to understand um, how they are doing in respect of their uh, glaucoma therapy. So the company has, important, uh, has reached important milestones. Uh, we have done extensive clinical studies uh, with long-term follow-up to demonstrate that our implants, our devices are safe, safe and well-tolerated, and most importantly, long-term durable and reliable. We are CE marked. Um, we ho have also obtained FDA breakthrough device designation, so we are right now doing a, a first rollout in Germany and Switzerland. We will do further market expansion next year in Europe, uh, and we plan to do also a first ID study in the US next year. Very seasoned team, uh, I'm sure you know uh, some of the people here on the, on the screen. Um, and I think also the business model is quite attractive because we have two uh, sources of revenues and also the eye doctors, of course, have two sources of revenues. Uh, on the one hand, for the, for the placement of the devices and for the devices, uh, and here it will be reimbursed under the TC, uh, TCET uh, program. And since there is recurring revenues um, for the remote patient monitoring component, uh, so an eye doctor uh, can bill up to 200 US dollars a month per patient for providing these services to the patient. And we as a company can, can also um, make uh, or generate recurring revenues. We have a deep pipeline, so we are already working also on a closed loop therapeutic device, where the sensor is kind of actuating the release of a drug. Uh, so we, at the end, are a technology platform where we can uh, also go in different directions, including uh, also ther therapy. So I think in summary, uh, we are in a very good position. We have very strong IP. We have a first market mover advantage. So there are several competitors, but uh, nobody has so far any clinical data. So we are way ahead. Um, and I think also the business model is quite attractive for recurring revenues. And as I said, we are very proud to have also a very strong pipeline of next generation products. Thank you very much.